I keep asking people, why is it that we are so successful in our businesses, in our career, in our jobs, yet we are not successful in marriage? Mm -hmm. Because there are principles that we obey mm. in the places of work that we don't obey in this marriage. Because at the work at the workplace, if you don't obey a certain policy, you will be fired. You'll be fired mm. and you will never get money. You will not have money to, to do what you do. So people can do anything for the sake of money. They can obey just because at the return of the end of the month I'm getting money. But in marriage, what are you getting? Mm. So because of this having freedom in marriage, taking one another for granted, we kind of feel we don't need anybody to, to counsel us. We don't need mentors. Even there are people who question about mentorship. Uh, why should a man sit down with me and tell me how to manage my... Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. It is good if you are a virgin, but you can be a virgin, but you're not sexually pure. Mm -hmm. You can be a virgin, virgin who is not sexually pure. Sexual. You're not sexually pure. What How? Exactly How is that possible? Because purity comes <laughs> through yes. what you see and what you hear. Yeah. Ah. You get that? I can be a virgin, mm. but I keep watching porn. Mm. I can be a virgin, but I'm masturbating. Mm. You're getting that? Yeah. Ah. Yes. I can be a virgin, but I have funny things that I do. All right. Which is even wise to us. Yeah. You know, okay, yeah, yeah, because I have never been broken by a man. Mm. So, sexual purity, mm. it is something you pursue until eternity, until when you die. Oh. So, sexual purity wow. is not only for the people who are not married. Even the it's married. not for the children, it's mm. not for the teenagers, mm. it's not for the, for the youth. No, yeah. sexual purity is also for the people who are also married. Mm -hmm. Wow. You sexual have to stay sexually pure yeah. to your also... partner. Mm. Ah. You get that? Because most of people think mm. after I marry, then I can do whatever I want. Mm. See, I, I was sexually pure. No, 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 no. The goal. Sexual purity is something you pursue mm. on a daily basis. Yes. And you can't say that I have arrived. Till eternity. Till eternity. Yes. I can't say that I have arrived. Mm. I cannot commit adultery. Mm. No, you are lying to yourself. Mm. Mm. It is something you pursue. Wow. Like the way you pursue God. Mm -hmm. You know, we have ne we have not gotten enough of God. Mm. Mm. We are still looking for him even right mm. now. Yeah. So when we talk about fornication, you're talking of having sex wow. before marriage. And that's something that must be mm -hmm. avoided. Mm -hmm. Number two thing mm -hmm. is adultery. Adul adultery is breaking so many homes. Mm -hmm. We need to be very firm and mm -hmm. say it is wrong. Mm -hmm. We need to stand with the word of God. Yes. Yeah, because there are people who have overcome it and people who are standing and saying that they are, they are living that life. If they are living that life, mm -hmm. you can do it as well as long as you are surrendered to the word of God mm -hmm. and you are committed to follow it. Mm -hmm. Mom, you said something so impactful mm -hmm. that it is one thing Thing to know the word, to have the information mm. and all these books people read mm. and also it is also one thing to have all these mentors, but it's a way much another to mm. practice what to you practice know. practice the truth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's where, 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 that is the game changer. Mm. That is just the deal breaker. Mm. Action, what you've learned, what you've, yes, you've been told sex outside marriage is sin, but do you practice that? Yeah. We have that information. Are we just doing it or we are just having all this information and not being able to practice? Uh, and Thank you so much for giving yeah. us those heavy yeah. knowledgeable points. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this mm -hmm. uh, lady's situation. Mm -hmm. It confused me from the start mm -hmm. because of all those things that are happening in the in the same person mm -hmm. carrying all that. But then, like from number one, mm -hmm. she's talking about having things like anal sex with the husband. Mm -hmm. Number two, sleeping with the dog. Number three, exchange. And this thing of exchange, I've heard about it somewhere because uh, people are saying that they're talking about spicing up their marriages. They're saying that if your marriage is getting bored, we look for our friends. Maybe we are, we are always four guys. We look for, uh, we come one day and swap our wives. Mm. That will make our marriages become become uh, spicy. But again, you began by saying these people are not born again. That's number one. Yeah, mm. they're not they born have again. The, the reference. Of course. Mm. So, so that they is have. Adult, they, they are yeah. So that's already that's already adultery. Mm. They are practicing. Mm. And then number two, you find that uh, I can say that the genesis of this marriage was on a very poor foundation. The mm. foundation is very poor. Either mm. this lady uh, went into that marriage because 
I'm just saying, because you said the man is a white, maybe we, we, we get married for many reasons. Mm. One is people, people can say that I'm married. Mm -hmm. what say, at least I, I have a wife, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And one can be like, so that people may long stretch, uh, may stop calling me a single woman, mm -hmm. something like that. Another people say that I'm married to a white. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she, I, so I, you, wait, mm -hmm. she's just married because of what mm -hmm. people will say. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that now, when you get married because of you want to show people, that's why you reach a point where you can be used. Because I think this man was using her. Mm. And you have no say in that marriage. Mm. You can't say no because, number one, this, if this marriage ends, mm. uh, so I think this woman has become like a slave in this marriage. Sex slave. A sex slave. Mm. Whereby anything can be done on her, mm. and she has no say on it. Mm. I want from the biblical point of view, mm -hmm. what is under talent? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, today, if I walk to the court, mm -hmm. I divorce you. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Are you free now to go ahead and get married because mm -hmm. I've served you the papers of divorce? Mm -hmm. Is that okay mm -hmm. according to the word of God? So, mm -hmm. what is adultery? Adultery is uh, having sex. Uh, adultery number one, mm -hmm. these are people who are already married. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's very clear. Mm -hmm. This is a husband and a wife who are already married. married. Not man to man, mm -hmm. not human to man married. No, 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 mm -hmm. no. That's not marriage. Marriage is whereby we are talking of a husband and a wife married together. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking it from a biblical point of view, mm -hmm. yes, yes, not yes. from a secular point yes. of view. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if, if you are married, if, mm -hmm. if I am married to you and you are married to me, mm -hmm. according to the word of God, in the book of Matthew 19, verse 9, mm -hmm. Jesus said the only reason that should make you divorce your wife and your husband is adultery. You get that was the only reason he gave. Mm -hmm. wow. But before he gave that reason, mm -hmm. he had already taught in Matthew 18 mm -hmm. about forgiving your brother and your sister 70 times, seven times. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's good My to read goodness. the word of God revelationally. Okay. Yeah. So they Jesus had already other. talked about mm. forgiveness. Mm. That if your brother or your sister mm. offends you mm. in the book, if you read from That's Matthew so 18, verse 21, mm. it talks about that Jesus said, Forgive your brother and your sister. Mm. And this must only be a husband and a wife. Mm. These are the people who can offend one another. Yes, offend. Yes, yes. Yes. So Jesus had already given a solution. <laughs> I didn't know that. I, that that's yeah, Jesus had already given a solution before <laughs> the Pharisees, mm. you know, and yes. the Sadducees came to ask him that question. Yes. Yeah. So in the book of Matthew 18, verse 21, if you read up to the end, mm. Jesus had just dealt with the initial of mm. forgiveness. Mm. Yes. And he said that if your brother or your sister offends you, mm. forgive them 70 times said, seven mm. in yes. a day. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's, a that's day one. Just day one. Mm. That's day only. Mm. If you divide that with 24 hours, mm. that is after every four seconds. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to forgive mm -hmm. your neighbor, mm -hmm. who is now your husband. Yes. Because your husband and your wife, you're actually neighbors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Neighbors does not mean someone who is far from yeah. you. Someone who is near you. That's the first neighbor That's the have. first neighbor that you mm -hmm. have. Your wife, your then husband. the Pharisees now asked him that can, mm -hmm. a, can a man give a certificate of divorce to the wife mm -hmm. if he commits adultery? Jesus mm -hmm. tells them, mm -hmm. yes, the, the law of Moses told you so. Mm -hmm. But from the beginning, that it, was it was not, not so. so. Mm -hmm. God did not mean that mm -hmm. when there's something like that that happens, mm -hmm. you should divorce. However, that same verse, if you read it with NIV, is so powerful. Mm -hmm. It says, that if you divorce, I don't know whether you are there. That is now chapter what? Uh, um, uh, cha 19. Chapter 19. 19 verse 9. Okay. It's very powerful. 19, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you, mm -hmm. whoever divorces his wife mm -hmm. or husband, or husband, yes, except, except for mm -hmm. sexual immorality mm -hmm. and marries another, mm -hmm. commits adultery. Mm -hmm. And whoever marries her, who is divorced mm -hmm. commits adultery. This is what the word of God is this saying. Is serious. This is very serious. This is so serious. adultery happens so even after divorce. It, no, this is this is what I wanted to explain. Yes. What exactly what the word of God is saying? Yes. Pastor Morena had given an example that if he divorced me yes. because of adultery mm -hmm. in, in the court of law, mm -hmm. then he can divorce me. But mm -hmm. the Bible tells him mm -hmm. if he, he goes forgive, mm -hmm. and he marries another woman mm -hmm. when I'm alive, he's committing adultery. <laughs> <laughs> now this is deep. Mm. That's deep. Mm. Yeah, mm. it is deep. Yes. Mm. If you go, mm -hmm. that's what the word of God is telling us. I think I need to read it again, my dear. You know, you yes. read it with a comma. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> read with the comma. That yeah. is verse, verse, uh, verse 9. Yes. I say to you, this is Jesus saying, whoever 
Are you a bishop? Are you a pastor? <laughs> are you whatever yes. you are? Are you a marriage counselor? Yes. Whoever, whoever, whoever is whoever. Mm. Whoever yeah. is whoever. Whoever divorces his wife, mm. Pastor Monene, except for sexual immorality. Mm. Except for mm. sexual immorality. Comma. Mm. Uh -huh. That's how many divorce because, because of, of sexual, sexual immorality. Mm. And then he marries another mm. woman. So I take another woman. You take another woman. Uh -huh. Because yes. you, you of immorality. Yeah, because because you found you found me committing adultery. Uh -huh. And you, you go and take another woman. Uh -huh. You have also committed adultery. The same adultery I also committed. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Two wrongs. Two wrongs. Not they don't make a right. That's why Jesus had to begin. Mm. That's why the word of God is organized by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm. That's why Jesus had to talk about forgiveness because he knew he could read the minds of the Pharisees. Mm. The question they are going to ask him is this. <laughs> then he says this. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Marries another, commits another. Mm. And whoever, mm. whoever is her. Marries me now. Yeah. That person, <laughs> who, this person, me mm -hmm. now who has been divorced by Pastor Munene and he got a certificate of divorce. Mm -hmm. I have the papers of divorce that Pastor Munene has divorced me. We have even gone at home. He has shown my parents, my uncles. Yes. Everybody knows. We even have, he even has a video wow. of when I was committing adultery. Mm -hmm. After I am divorced by Pastor Munene, mm -hmm. the word of God, whoever marries her mm -hmm. who is divorced commits adultery. So, in, so short, in, yes. in short, in yes. short, you should never divorce. Thank you. Now, actually, that, that is the one. Thank mm. you. you and on, a, on account of, I caught my partner yeah. committing adultery, mm. and he caught me committing adultery. What we are supposed to do mm. is number one, to forgive one another. Mm. Yes. You, we may not forget, but forgive one another. Yeah. After we have forgiven one another, Walk we get a godly counselor mm -hmm. who can be able to walk the journey with us mm -hmm. to overcome and look at what are the loopholes that made your wife to go out mm -hmm. is it that you're not satisfying her sexually mm -hmm. is it that there was a, a, a misunderstanding or a conflict that you had not devoted you had not solved is it that pastor Munene, pastor Munene has a condition a medical condition that is not able to satisfy me sexually mm -hmm. is it that he uh, he's um he's masturbating and so mm -hmm. when he comes he's not able to all these things we need to to look at the root cause mm -hmm. of this thing that's why jesus and i think this is such an information we need, we need mm -hmm. to have it there because yes. nowadays it is if you find somebody with a mess where kaende kaende i think that is the i think slogan. we need to read the bible well we need to read the bible because, we need to read the because, word of god by the holy because spirit because even if you ask any christian tell that mm. on the ground of unfaithfulness mm. the bible allows you to divorce yeah is that what you are, you are that is what yes. that is true so yes. so you should divorce and remain alone remain mm. until when this other person will die and it is in the book of First Corinthians. <laughs> and so, so after divorcing her, yes. I should wait until she dies. She dies her <laughs> natural death, not you orchestrating <laughs> her death. Don't orchestrate <laughs> her death. Now. Yeah. She natural. dies her natural death. Uh -huh. The Bible says now you are not bound by her. Mm. Now you can marry. I'm oh, also yeah, not yeah, bound yeah. by him mm. if he's not living. You are getting that? No wonder mm -hmm. I think now, mm -hmm. I begin now to look at the word of God mm -hmm. differently. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that God hates two things. Mm. He hates divorce yes. and what? Marital separation. Mm -hmm. Those wow. are two things that God wow. hates. According because to the book of Malachi, of yes, mm -hmm. that God hates divorce and marital mm -hmm. separation. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Because if we commit adultery, the consequences to both of you mm -hmm. are so dire. The word of God says mm -hmm. to, in the book of 1 Corinthians 7 yes. and verse 10, mm -hmm. and I want you to read together with me. Mm -hmm. Now to the married, mm -hmm. now to the, to the married, married. Yes. I command you, mm -hmm. yet not I, Paul, but, but the, the Lord. Lord. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord Jesus who is saying, mm -hmm. a wife is not to depart from from her husband. her husband but if she does you get the point eh? mm. a wife is told not to depart in yes. other words not to divorce mm. or not to separate with her husband mm. but you see you have the free moral will mm. to make choices mm. if that woman decides to leave mm. you know to leave her marriage mm. and leave her husband mm. this is what the word of god says if she does depart let her remain unmarried <laughs> or be reconciled to her husband mm -hmm. and a husband is not to divorce his wife mm -hmm. you're getting that mm -hmm. eh? in other words if for example there's a good reason for example like right now we are having cases whereby a husband wants to kill the wife mm -hmm. you know there's evidence yes. that for sure pastor Munene wanted to kill the wife even the children have evidence mm -hmm. 
This is what I tell women and I tell men. Mm -hmm. Your life covenant with God is higher than marriage covenant. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be in marriage covenant. if you're already dead. You can't. Yeah. So life covenant mm -hmm. with God, mm -hmm. the gift of life that God has given you is higher mm -hmm. than marriage mm -hmm. covenant. Mm -hmm. If for that reason mm -hmm. of abuse, physical mm -hmm. abuse, mm -hmm. assault, mm -hmm. you know, he has cut me, I mean, he choma na maji, mm -hmm. something has happened physically yeah. and he's threatening my life, mm -hmm. we can separate. Mm -hmm. But even when we are separated, mm -hmm. real born again Christians are not supposed to marry again. That's what the word of God is saying. Mm. It's not so don't don't start beating me. To na say maiva kwa sababu kona munene wako apana. I'm also under this. Mm. This is the word of God. Mm. Read your Bible. First Corinthians seven mm. verse ten. Deep, deep, deep. That now to the married I command, yet not I Paul, but the Lord Jesus. Mm. A wife is not to depart or divorce from her husband, mm. but if she does, in the in the sense of life threat. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She must remain unmarried. And if she is remaining unmarried, even equally the husband mm. must remain unmarried. unmarried. Are you getting that? Mm. Uh -huh. Or be reconciled to her husband, or the man to be reconciled to his wife. And a husband is not to divorce his wife. So I think. So according to God's <laughs> mind, <laughs> yeah, the problem. When you there begin your journey as a man and a wife, mm. yes. But when there is life threatening, mm. your life is threatened, your life is in danger. You can divorce and separate. But even when you are divorced and separated, mm. the one who is a Christian, the one who, who understands the word of God, should remain unmarried until we 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 trust God for this man or this woman to change. Then let alone. He, he can be reconciled. Mm -hmm. Wow. So there's something I'm thinking. So in the mind now, of good, there is no divorce. Yeah, I, I, I'm just thinking mm. that anyone, no wonder marriage is not for children. Mm -hmm. yes. let, me, let me say that. Mm. Marriage is not for children. Eh, very because true. if you are not ready to walk the path of forgiveness, mm. eh. you are not ready for true. marriage. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. If you are not ready if to walk the ready path to of forgiveness, forgiveness you yeah. are not ready, ready for, for marriage. marriage. Because mm. there are things on a daily basis that you need to forgive your partner, mm. that you need to let go. Mm. Mm -hmm. But then if you are not ready for this, it means you are not ready for marriage. Mm. Yeah. Because according to God, mm. once you come together, then you are in. Forget exit. No. But unfortunately, mm. today, today's relationships, they are more cash you. They are more, it's like contracts. Mm. Okay, we try, so it's going to work. The, the which is very the, low. Marriage is like when you receive Christ, mm -hmm. salvation. Mm. Uh, the Bible says in the book of, I think it's Ephesians, that uh, when you received Christ, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Mm. You received the seal of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And I, I always say that uh, a seal and a rubber stamp are not the same. Mm. You see, when, when we, we put a rubber stamp on you, mm. that rubber stamp can be deleted. We can rub it. Mm. We can remove it. We can also even paint and cover it up. Mm -hmm. But when a seal is put on a paper, it appears both sides. If mm -hmm. you seal things like certificate, they always have a seals. A seal when I put on a paper, it, it appears, you cannot rub it, you cannot delete it. So I told that when you when you received Christ, you were sealed by the Holy Spirit. You so meaning, uh, there is no coming back mm -hmm. when you get into salvation with God. Mm -hmm. When Christ takes you, he cannot take, you cannot take yourself back out of him again. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, when that agreement was made, you became one with him mm -hmm. until eternity. So he expects also us, when you get in marriage, when you make that agreement, we should be together until eternity. Mm. That's and great. that's true. You should, that's never, you should never say now, mm -hmm. I'm tired of this marriage, I want to do another one, I think I'm not the wrong person. No. Mm -hmm. Once you agree, you want to go ahead, we'll that's why even, that's saying, even after divorcing, mm -hmm. you should remain like that. Mm -hmm. And that's why the, the church is compared to... to? The bride mm -hmm. and the husband is compared to Christ yes, because exactly. that's the, the very thing God can use to make us understand his will and purpose for mm -hmm. family. Yes, mm -hmm. the word of God is also saying in the book of 1 Corinthians 7 mm -hmm. and 7 verse 39 it says, A wife is bound as long as the, the husband is alive, mm -hmm. wow. and a husband and a husband is bound to the wife as long as mm -hmm. the wife is alive. Mm -hmm. But if her husband dies, you get the point, mm -hmm. and if the wife dies, they have liberty to be married to whom they wish, only in the Lord. 
you know what that means? Mm -hmm. That per adventure, if one of us dies, mm. you get the point. Mm. Eh? We are we we are we are free to marry, but not to marry any other person. In that person Lord. must be born again. Yeah. Must be in the Lord only. Mm. Only in the, in the Lord. Lord. So that yeah. now mm. the continuity of Christ and His bride can continues. Mm. You're getting wow. the point. Eh? Yeah. Yes. But as long as Munene is alive, I'm bound to him. Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to have another man. And other people will ask me, Sasa nikai hivyo bila kufanywa, mpaka wakati huyo mtu watakufa. If you want to obey your, your, your will power, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because you have a will power that can also make decisions against God, mm -hmm. who has also given us the order. Mm -hmm. But according to the word of God, mm -hmm. if one of us is alive mm. and we separate and divorce mm. no one of us should marry mm. until one of us dies a natural death mm. not a death orchestrated by one person <laughs> that i planned death to kill pastor monene so that i can get, get married to another man now mm. that is wrong yeah. you get that eh? mm. because we have bound one another mm. by the virtue that we had had sex together mm. i know this something that is not being obeyed in the western even right now in africa mm. we have broken this oh, yes. because we also right we have also allowed polygamous you know, even right now in our constitution, it allows a man to marry as many wives as possible. Mm. But you see, that is the law of man, yeah. the law of yeah. the land. The of but man. according to the word of God, which is God's constitution, mm. that will be used to judge us in heaven, mm. we are not supposed to practice polygamous. Mm. And this thing has, 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 has nullified the, the issue mm. of polygamy mm. totally because mm. it has, yes. if you are married to that husband, and even when you separate, you have to wait until that person is no more. Yes. So there is no even discussion about polygamy in the in the yeah. presence of God. Yes, and you see, yeah. people keep saying that uh, that Abraham was polygamous, but it was not from God. Mm. Yes, it is from his wife. His wife. The wife, wife in the early plan, It is the wife who who actually pushed pushed Abraham into polygamous. Yes. Mm. You get but also, Jacob never lived, was also not a polygamous. Mm. He wanted to buy to marry Rebecca, mm -hmm. but he was exchanged his wife, mm -hmm. and he had to work for seven more years. Yes. You get not that it was his wish mm -hmm. to get into mm -hmm. polygamous. Mm -hmm. So most people will give Bible examples of people who married. Why? Because God has given you a very important part in your mind called the power of will, mm -hmm. and your will, when it is not power renewed by the word of God, mm -hmm. it can make decisions that are against God who gave you that will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why a human being has that uh, liberty of choice and decision. Mm -hmm. You're getting that. Wow. So wow. You, can, you can make decisions that are against God, mm -hmm. even when you know it is wrong. So when you give it, when you get people in the Bible who are polygamous, mm. that was not the original plan of God mm. from the beginning. Because if God wanted polygamous, mm. he should have given us an example with Adam and Eve. Yes. He would have created yeah. Eve and Evelyn mm. and given Adam. <laughs> You're getting that? Yes. Because God is our role model. Yes. But he gave Adam and Eve only. From his rib. And he told them multiply, fill the earth. Mm. You know, wow. using sex. You get the point. Even so, I was, I was reading you, the story of, of Noah mm -hmm. the other day, mm -hmm. and I was saying God will have told Noah, uh, mm -hmm. bring in three women for you, mm -hmm. and also <laughs> Ham, Japheth, and, uh, and, uh, and the, other, the other son, mm -hmm. get them two women each, so that we can fill this earth very fast. Thank you. But just took Noah and his wife, mm -hmm. Ham, Japheth, and the other one, mm. shame, mm. one, one, one. Yes, so polygamous is not God's idea, mm. it is man's mm. idea. Yeah. It's our because man also mm. has the power to make decisions. Mm. You get that. And let me say this, even in the fallen nature of man, the fallen nature of man, man can still be creative and do things that are extraordinary. Mm. You're getting that? Mm. Because anything that came from God is eternal. Is eternal. Mm. People keep asking, why can't God kill the devil? Not knowing initially, whatever comes from God is eternal. That's why even us, when we die, the human spirit has to return back to God. Mm. So God has given us a free moral will mm. to be able to make decisions and mm. choices. And that will can also make decisions that are against him. Mm. So when, when, we, when, we, when the Bible talks about polygamous in the Old Testament, it doesn't mean that God is mungu uh, anapitisha uh, uh, yeah. it is okay. No. Mm. Look at every yeah. person who was polygamous. There was never a circumstance. Well. It was a situation that made him to do that, but that was not the original plan of God. We are dealing here with a very 
controversial, mm -hmm. sensitive, mm -hmm. you know, highly sensitive. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. even with the men of God you know, are also countries yes. of the same. Yeah. You know? And they are the people who are supposed to teach this. Yes, yes. They should teach. Because they, we have had also men of God yeah. marrying and remarrying, marrying and remarrying. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, and they say, I caught my wife on, on adultery, I caught my husband committing adultery. Mm -hmm. not, not knowing, after committing adultery, to Nasari Kuka Ivo. <laughs> a baka kufe natural death because you are still bound now, first, by the sexual uh, act of that person. Two things here, mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. So if my wife is denying me, mm -hmm. what should I do? Get someone who can talk to her. And that's why we are talking about having a marriage mentor. Mm -hmm. Because the challenge with, with, with the pastor is that people don't have, people have not been, uh, couples have not been able to identify. People can come in their lives and be able to question them, direct them. I keep asking people, why is it that we are so successful in our businesses, in our career, in our jobs, yet we are not successful in marriage? Mm -hmm. Because there are principles that we obey. Mm -hmm in the places of work that we don't obey in this marriage because at the work at the workplace if you don't obey a certain policy you'll be fired you'll be fired mm. and you will never get money you will not have money to, to do what you do so people can do anything for the sake of money they can obey just because at the return of the end of the month i'm getting money but in marriage what are you getting mm. so because of this having freedom in marriage taking one another for granted we kind of feel we don't need anybody to to cancel us we don't need mentors even there are people who question about mentorship uh, why should a man sit down with me and tell me how to manage my yeah yeah, yeah mm. we start and we don't do that when it comes mm. to work mm. we don't do that when it comes to career Profession. we don't do that when we go to universities when we don't tell lecturer i know how to do economy so why are you teaching me mm. we don't do that mm. so i can, I can do it yeah. medicine i can do it mm. we sit down and we are taught everything else a human being will allow to be taught but when it comes to marriage because the devil hates marriage mm -hmm. that's why you become so when you are ignorant and i'm ignorant mm -hmm. we will really have a lot of fights because you are ignorant of the word i'm ignorant of the word so we are going to base our teachings not on a vacuum on tradition or copy and paste what is happening in the social media mm. because the devil hates marriage because anytime there is a marriage the devil knows if a husband and a wife are together mm. this is a force that i cannot be able to defeat so the best way to bring is either to look who is weaker among us who is weaker me it looks like your wife yeah. you find i have something that keeps on offending you or if you are the one who is weak the devil brings you something and he amplifies on me so that i keep on feeling wow. i'm frustrated by this so mm. we need to know we have a hidden enemy called the devil and he hates marriage right from the beginning yeah. that's why he, he, he went and talked to eve because look, look at this before before eve manifested the devil was nowhere mm. until when a woman came mm. yeah. Because the woman mm. is the one who is carrying the seed. The womb. The, the womb. Everything. She, he brought confusion. Can you imagine? He brought even confusion before even they had children. Because he knew if he doesn't bring sin before children, there's a generation that was to be bad, that is sinless. Yeah. Mm. Are you getting that? Wow. Yes. If the devil came after uh, after Cain and Abel were born, mm. that would have been a generation without sin. <laughs> but the devil was so timely. Mm. Immediately after the man said, hey, the bone of my bone, the, the, the flesh, flesh of, of my... Flesh. Before even they had sexual intercourse, he came. Before even they knew <laughs> about, about Toa Toa, he came and confused wow. them. Mm. Because he wanted to attack the generations that are going to come. What about mm. partners yes. who are narcissistic? Mm. They, nobody can talk to them. Now they cannot be helped. Because mm. God will always use people. Mm. Ah, God, God will always use people. Use people. Mm. He will never send angels mm. from heaven. Yeah. He will never send, you know, uh, ak ak angel, mm. ak Michael, who you see mm. with your naked eyes. Mm. God will always use people. Mm. And that's why it's good to be submitted mm. to some people. Mm. Like I and Pastor Munene, we are submitted to, mm. to, to men of God, people mm. that who value marriage. Mm. That's where our marriage is working. Mm. But we can't set the exam of marriage with you, my dear. And, and we mark it. Yeah. We, we, you can't set the exam of marriage yes. and market. And market the two yes. of you. Why? Because <laughs> their dynamic nature is very selfish. Mm. Their dynamic nature is very selfish. Yeah. I would want to mark what favors me. You would want to mark what favors him. And at the end of the day, that can bring conflict. Mm. Pastor, I'm saying this is a very sensitive matter. Yes. Because I left my first marriage. Mm -hmm. I'm in my second marriage. Yes. Already we are having children here. Yes. And you are telling me this is adultery. Yes. What do you want me to do? 
There's nothing you can do. <laughs> because already the, yes. the foundation is wrong. Yes. And you see, probably you even got it without having gotten knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now, your case is with God. Because we can't judge you. Yes. Mm. You're getting that. Yes. Because if you are you have you first of all divorced your wife, mm. then now you are in the second marriage, you also divorced with the children. Mm. Now you are in the third marriage. Mm. So your case will be with God. Because mm. God is the only one who is able to know in your mind and in your heart. Mm. At that particular time when you are marrying the second and the third wife, mm. did you have the right knowledge? Uh -huh. yeah. So there are cases mm. that God will judge mm. because He's the one who has the truth of everything. Mm. So, and that's why we should not be also very harsh on them. Mm. Wow. Because the, there are people who who married and remarried mm. and they are marrying and remarried mm. because they don't have knowledge they think mm. that is that is normal mm. after all most people are governed by the rules of the land mm. Mm. the constitution of the land yeah, mm. what do they know? you get the point mm. not many people are following the bible mm. think of western western nations mm. like us mm. where the bible is no longer being taught even to the children mm. so will they know such principles mm. no it's hard. so such such things that's mm. why the bible says mm. when 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 men never knew mm. he overlooked mm -hmm. but now Mm -hmm. he commands. But now he commands. But, yeah. but also, really also yeah. even with the, with the God mm -hmm. overlooking our ignorance, mm -hmm. you see, even those systems we've set for ourselves mm -hmm. as humans, and we call them the law of the land and the constitution, mm -hmm. such like, Human they're not rights. even favoring us because mm -hmm. you find that the research shows that the second attempt of marriage is on a higher risk of divorce, divorce by 70%. Past. Of and which, mm. if a person marries the first person, Iyo, Iyo, Ndowa Yakwanza, has more chances of survival than the second one. The second one or the third. The third one is even having the lowest chances. That's yeah. So you true. see, even if you leave the That's word of God true. out of it, it's still mm -hmm. it's just showing you the first covenant is always what God honors and the land honors. And the, mm. yeah. You've said something that I think it's very serious. Mm. Because uh, most men don't like being taught how to do things. Wow. But they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll sit down and listen to a manager teach them how to solve an issue in a company. Mm -hmm. They'll pay heavily to go to a conference to learn about to grow businesses. Mm -hmm. Or now you'll go and pay Take someone money. to teach you how to drive mm -hmm. a car. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to marriage, we don't care. There's a seminar, someone that are paying 1,000 only shillings. I say I cannot go for such things. Mm -hmm. uh, why should? Why is he going to teach me about? Is he an expert? Mm -hmm. We will never question your boss on that on such things. Mm -hmm. So we have never invested in marriage, which is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Now, why can't we just and, and also even that we we can never sit down with someone who is like a mentor who can advise us as mm -hmm. men. I'm talking mostly about as men. So when an issue comes, where do we run to? On social media pages to go and ask for opinions there. Mm -hmm. And you will find that people are going to give you opinions, mm -hmm. both negative and positive. You leave that best more confused than how you were before you asked that question. Sure. So I think, and I will tell that any, any couple out there, they should have at least, number one, a mentor in their, role, in, in their marriages, mm -hmm. a role model. And above all, they should have the fear of God. Mm -hmm. And also invest in books mm -hmm. or, or things that can help you mm -hmm. to learn. They won't just learn any other things like maybe financing, debt analysis, how you learn those things. Also learn about marriage. But that one will be a challenge with a narcissist. A narcissist is never open to information from anybody. Mm. They are the alpha and the omega. They are the lord of themselves. Yeah. So such people, I don't know what can help them, but a narcissist can never be corrected, can never receive information or correction. They are not open to learning.